in-app calendars have become almost ubiquitous, and more and more people see them as a core function. You can use calendars to manage events, set up reminders, and keep your tasks organized, all from your mobile device. Hi, I'm Ryan from Webiotic. In today's video, we'll take a look at how you can start implementing calendar solutions like Google Calendar in your next Android or iOS app project. Let's start by taking a look at how different industries and current apps are using Google Calendar and other popular in-app features. Apps in the healthcare industry have long been using calendars for scheduling doctor's appointments. In addition to helping doctors monitor the healthcare conditions of their patients, these apps allow doctors and patients to schedule face-to-face -face or online visits as well as offering reports and notifications. Calendar features and integrations are also popular with parking apps where drivers can quickly and easily book parking spots right from their mobile device. In educational apps, learners can add classes to their Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar using the integration. Courses with massive open online enrollments, for example, use calendars with lectures, questions and answers, and home assignments to stay on track. Even real estate apps are using calendar integrations. Apps like Zillow and Zumper have calendars built in and they're used for time management and setting appointments with real estate agents and property owners. In short, there are simply tons of apps that are using calendars embedded in their app for a wide variety of uses. You can sync your own in-app calendar with popular calendars like Google, Outlook, and Microsoft, or add a new one to your app by using API integrations. API is short for Application Programming Interface. It's software that lets two applications talk to each other. When you use apps like Facebook or check the weather on your phone, you're using APIs. In many cases, a calendar API is accessible through explicit HTTP calls that use RAS T4 APIs. Fortunately, big companies like Google, Apple, and Microsoft all offer calendar APIs that can easily integrate with mobile apps. You'll find clear documentation on each of their online developer pages. The Google Calendar API is pretty powerful, so it's no surprise that so many apps use it. The API allows you to edit private calendars, add reminders and alerts, search for and view shared calendars in mobile and web applications, and set up notifications. The Outlook API offers access to calendars, events, reminders, and calendar groups. Anyone can be added to Outlook and be given access to one another's calendars, which is especially handy for teams. Most of the leading calendar apps allow you to easily integrate them and use their features. An app that integrates a calendar doesn't sound too complicated at first glance, but if you want to add additional features to your app or even design a completely new calendar app for your project, it'll take time and effort. You can easily add a calendar into your app by following best practices and using calendar services already available on the market no need to start from scratch. You can use the popular Google Calendar API, open source calendar libraries, or you can have your own unique calendar developed just for your app. What calendar solution will you be using for your next project? I hope you learned something today about Google Calendar integrations for your mobile app. For more help with your app, subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please like it and share it with others. Thank you for watching.